Tyru. Down to the corner, Joslin trying to go back door, off the skate in front and in. Back door, one timer, little job, scores. And the point to the teammate, it's tied at one. Firebirds facility. This is the back office, as you can see, a bunch of NHL players like Philly Zerjarvi here, I believe, is in Grand Rapids right now. But he's a Red Wing draft pick, so a lot of guys come through the OHL. You can see past players, a bunch of jerseys here. This is kind of the back office section uh, where my buddy Dom does his work. So we're gonna go check him out, say hi to him real quick. My man, Ricky Dominic. How's it going, man? Good to see you. Dude. All right. This is my brother Tom. Not my actual brother, but he's like my brother from another best, mother, right? Best friend. Yeah, he's he's best friend. My best friend here. It's good to see you, dude. Yeah, good to How's see you, mom? man. Good. good. Doing good. How about you? Doing good. Ready for a hockey game today? Yeah, ready for a hockey game. Tell us a little bit about what you do exactly as far as broadcasting. You obviously do more than just call a game on the radio, but tell us a little bit about the OHL about the league, about the Flint Firebirds, and just kind of give us a brief overview of, of everything. Yeah, off the bat, I mean, I'm in, I'm in my office, so I, I can't be yeah. like, hey, I'm the only one here. I mean, right. it's a huge team effort, and there's, there's a huge team uh, behind the team uh, in the game of hockey. Of course, there's the hockey players, the hockey operations, the coaches, all that stuff, but um, when it comes to the off-ice stuff, like, you know, these, these media notes packets that, that, that get created. Let's take a second here and just look at these media notes that get put together, because I do want to show this off. I think this is sweet. Look at this. All the colors put together. And what are these for? Like, what are these do? NHL scouts and out-of-town media, uh, and then our suite level two. So, uh, you know, there's the roster. It shows what guys are draft el eligible for the NHL draft this upcoming June, what their records are, their points and stats and all that. And... Um, also for broadcasters, if you flip the page, you'll see there's pronunciation guides and, and, and more in-depth looks uh, at, at this type of stuff. There's a lot of different routes to the NHL, but there's, there's, there's two main routes. You're either going college or you're going major junior. And the OHL is in major junior, and um, a lot of guys go to the NHL. And I think nine of the last ten first pick overalls have come out of the CHL, which is the OHL. Um, you know, there's a stat actually, 25% uh, of, of players on NHL opening day rosters this year were, were, came out of the OHL, that's first best in the league, uh, first and second round draft picks all coming from the OHL, it's the most in the world, 199 in the last five years coming out of this Which league. Which is unbelievable. It really is. I mean, you got some big names too, like, uh, like Steven Samkos is an alumni. Oh yeah. Uh, you got Patrick Kane is an alumni. Yeah, I mean, Steve, you Eiserman, got Steve Eiserman, Steve I mean, there's a lot of big names <laughs> that come through the CHL. Uh, in general, but specifically the OHL, there's some really good talent that comes through here. So I'm excited to take guys through exactly what you do behind the scenes yeah. and kind of just give everybody um, a, an idea of the production that goes on of just putting all this together. I mean, people just don't show up to games and, and watch good hockey. Obviously, it's good hockey, but there's a lot that has to be done before the game actually starts. This day is typically a, a 9 a.m. to midnight a day uh, on a game day, and I'll do this. Uh, it's a long day. Yeah, we'll do this back-to-back -back days here, and then uh, on the road Sunday, we go to Sarnia, so three games in three days, and then back at it Monday for a nine-to-five job for right. the most part. So, And you guys get the exclusive scoop with one of these right here. We get to go through the locker room. Personalized. And, yeah, personalized, too. You got the name on it and everything. It's all done up nice. So we're going to take a little tour through the locker room, too, kind of take a little bit of uh, see what the media suites light and just kind of go through your day and, and see what you do. Name plates. So oh. something, uh, something we do differently here in Flint is... It's actually worked out well because we give each guy his own personal seat, this seat reserved for. So guys come in now, now they, a lot of them want to make sure they're, they guarantee a seat, so they'll email ahead of time. So, you know, you'll get emails, Detroit Red Wings, you know, Pittsburgh Penguins, Nashville Predators, and right. I do all this uh, to, to make these individualized then. And it's a good little touch and it makes people feel at home, especially for scouts who are on the road a lot and, and a lot of customization here. Not a bad view, huh? Not a bad view. So let's check out this real quick. Also, not only do the NHL scouts get a nice seating area, but they also get this pretty cool area. I think it's cool. So yeah, we, obviously a nice meal is needed, especially when scouts are traveling and, and out of town media on a daily basis. So we, this is part of our media suite too. Um, we have a nice catered meal in on the right here. 
still a few hours out, no food's here yet. Just the whole setup of what they do here in Flint, a lot of it has to do with you, is just the way it's set up, I love it. I think it's really cool. W what goes on here, obviously we got a lot of outlets and plugs here <laughs> um, that do a lot of different things and, and there's a bunch of wiring here. So, so how exactly does a radio broadcast work? That's a great question. I didn't even think about bringing that up. So this is what we call a mixer, um, Comrex access unit. There's also um, other companies like a tie line out there. It's typically Comrex or, uh, or tie line. This goes to the ethernet, my internet, and it goes all the way to the radio station. Tonight's broadcast will be on 103.1 FM. It'll be online, us103.com. It'll be on television in Sarnia, channel six on Kojiko. Uh, then it'll be televised province-wide on, on cable TV for Rogers TV cable subscribers, Kojiko TV cable subscribers, East Link, and yeah, the, link go, the list goes on. So um, the coverage is, is amazing, and that's why I like being a broadcaster in this league. And you, could, you, just, you, you hear on Twitter all the time, people just tuned in from all over the globe, people listening on airplanes 30,000 feet in the air in Hawaii and Punta Cana just last week, all three of those came in. So that's awesome. Life has really changed with technology, and that's oh, yeah. why I enjoy being a broadcaster. It's our media suite reservations. So, like, just look at some of the names. Maybe I won't say the names, but the scouts like Tampa, Tampa, Anaheim, Dallas, Dallas, Wild, Florida, WJRT, ABC 12, New York Islanders, New York Islanders, Los Angeles Kings, Toronto Maple Leafs, Toronto Maple Leafs. If you want to go to the NHL, <laughs> this is where you that's, play. That's where you go. For sure. This is something I wanted to show everybody because I enjoy this too. He's been doing this since I've known him at Ferris State. Since year one he started broadcasting, he does this. He used to sit in his living room all the time and he used to flip cards and he used to tell me the names of all the people. And to this day, I don't know how he memorizes every single person's name and number. Oh, four is Deneen. And I go like this for all 20 guys who were in the lineup last night. I feel like if you're, if you want to be halfway decent, if you want to be respectable on the air and the game of hockey, you have to bare minimum, bare minimum, know the last name to the number, because hockey's too quick of a sport to be looking down at your lineup. Um, things happen quickly. There's been games where I haven't had time to do this when things come up. And I don't know numbers, and when I do look down, then you miss a goal or you miss a big play. And for me, I'm a single broadcaster. I don't have a, a partner, so you don't have any backup. So it's pretty embarrassing when you're on the air and or I should say when you're on television and you hear a huge noise because you look down for a second and you're like, guys, I apologize. I have no idea what's going on right now. I have no idea what happened. It's kind of your job, right? Yeah, so that's why I feel like you have to do this. I find that starting off with small numbers like a two are easier for me. So I'll put the two first. I don't want to do a four, it's too similar to two, four, six, you know. This is how my mind thinks, it's really weird. I'm just going to speak out yeah. loud, but, yeah, let's you know, see so it. I'll do like a two and a 10 there. Um, you know, I don't want to put a 12 because the two is already in this line. So let's go with like a uh, 25. That's a pretty no normal number. I also know 25 is Jordan Cairo, who he's the best player in the OHL right now. So I know that I'll get on a roll off this first bat. And if my brain starts getting on a roll, then I could get through to do all this quickly. When I first started, it used to take me an hour each game, down to about 20 minutes now. So the point is to get your brain rolling and get on a roll of confidence. a couple. Confidence, it's confidence. Right. It actually teaches me that, you know, when we talk about players, it's confidence is everything. Goaltenders, you know, goal right. is confidence is everything. Yep. Same thing here as a broadcaster. So, you know, for me right off the bat, I actually might know a lot of these just because it's the eighth time we played each other this year, but right. I still do it just to be fresh. So I know two is Calvis. Boom. 10, Salinitri, Philadelphia draft pick. 25, Cairo, St. Louis draft pick. 13, Hens, Pizzetta. Came from Sudbury, Montreal draft pick. Four, don't know, Deneen. He came from North Bay draft pick of the Arizona Coyotes. Um, so four is Deneen. So normally, like, I just, who so I know. Don't, if you don't know it, do you leave it there stays. until you do? He stays. So he stays 21, Rizichka, Calgary Flames draft pick. 16, don't know, Ernst, okay. 12, don't know, Ang, should know, Florida Panthers draft pick, he'll play in the league. 39, Reese, don't know, 27, Josling, got him. 48, Hogue, 20, Schlichting, got him. 26, can't think, Sproviero, I knew that. 28, can't think, Hatcher, Darian Hatcher's son, that won't be hard again. 19, McGregor, I knew that. See, I'll get all these again next. 26, Proviero. 2 is Kelvis. 46, Lavinius. 10 is Salinitri. 
22. I should know this, it's my number, I don't. 22 is Elliot. Okay, 20 Schlichting. My brain hurts just watching that. <laughs> That's awesome. That's really cool. I could never memorize that many names, but that is unbelievable. So you'll see I've been watching you do that for years too, so it's cool to see it in action and give people a little, little exclusive on how you actually prepare. Everybody's a little different, obviously, and uh, the way they prepare for a game. And it's same with, like you said, with a forward or a defenseman or, or a goaltender. Everybody has their own way of kind of prepping for a game. It's no different from the guys behind the scenes in hockey than it is the guys actually playing the sport. So that was pretty cool to see uh, the little mind game that you play there. So now we're going to get an exclusive look of the locker room of the Flint Fire Room. That's another episode. We're not going to do that one. You see, you see this? Blue line, red line, far blue line. Easy money. Easy money. I need to take a selfie first. Can we get a little like pretend microphone? Because I was never drafted into the NHL, so I kind of want to feel like, yeah, see. Rick Ice first overall in the 2018 OHL priority selection. How does it feel? Uh, it, it feels really good. I, I'm really happy to contribute to a team. Um, you know, it's you finally. Yet. Well, I, I haven't contributed yet, but it's finally nice for someone to notice my talent and to bring it to a, an organization. I think um, I'm really going to benefit everybody. They're going to benefit from me, just me being on the bench. Um, I, I think it's a, a really good pick uh, that these guys ha have selected, and I'm really happy to be here. This is unbelievable. I never thought I'd see my friend putting on makeup like this. Me neither, man. I never thought I would be either. Yeah, this is real life. Oh, man. It's, it's going to look like a porcelain doll after this. <laughs> <laughs> I think you missed a spot. Let me, let me see a little bit. Of... <laughs> there you go. Sorry, man. <laughs> Flint Firebird, sunniest thing here on a Friday night. I looked back to the recent week and obviously not something Flint uh, wanted to see when it came to the results. What was your take on the weekend, Jake? Uh, I think we worked hard, but uh, we just didn't really get the results we wanted. I think that probably could have got a couple bounces go our way, but uh, we just have to keep working and hopefully turn it around here tonight. Uh, yeah, it should be a good weekend. My life's feeling pretty good. It's been going, it's been going good so far, and uh, I'm enjoying it. I think we have had a week here. Where we've been able to, um, you know, refresh and, and get a good couple practices under our belt. We're just before game time, so we're gonna go fall down into a sweep. Five minutes to air. Cut it close, my friend. So it all comes down to this. Right before puck drop, all of that stuff we saw. Now we're gonna see the final product just before game time. So Cubes, we'll set you up. Momentarily. Well, hi again, hockey fans. Flint Firebird, Sarnia Sting. Game seven of eight between the two clubs this season. They see each other tonight. They'll see each other on Sunday in Sarnia to wrap up the eight game season series. Ty Delandria. Leaning against Adam Rzichka. Referee will get the go ahead, he'll drop the puck and we're underway. Dropped it back, left side, Rzichka, the Calgary Flames prospect. Rzichka near side. Rzichka to the high slot. Knocked off this stick by Roberts. Rzichka kept it, centering click. Ends up at the point. Deneen, shot, scores! First shot on a goal, Zernia leads. 1 0, 53 seconds into the game. Levinius walked out, shot on goal, saved Kavlin, rebound, Kavlin diving for it, far wall. On the near side, another stick going flying here. Sticks all over the place tonight. Back door, one timer, little drop, scores! And the point to the teammate, it's tied at one. Switch it right side, Kavlin, back door, Roberts, one timer, didn't get enough mustard on it. 
Horton will sound the period comes to a conclusion. The Firebirds are tied 1 1 to the Sarnia Stink. The assist to Adam Rzichka and Michael Pizzetta. The pass from Rzichka was intended for the slot. He went through the slot all the way to the point. Deneen saw an opening through four bodies. I don't think Kaplan even had the chance to see it. And it was 1 0 Sarnia to start things off. Dice level will go, getting ready for the second period. Firebirds will skate left to right, navy blue sweaters, orange and gray trim. Starting right to left, white sweaters, yellow and black trim. Two on one, fired on goal, saved by you. High roof. Down to the corner, Joslin going to go back door. Off the skate in front and in. 2 1, Sony. That's going to count as a power play goal. I think it bounced off of Firebirds skate and in. If not, Gavlin sliding up to right. Fast by the stick. Not from jostling off the body in front, it's in. And it's a 3 1 lead in favor of Cernia with 10 09 remaining. Well chance, Kairou sliding over Cavill to right past City. And before Rimsha. And get home, it's 4 1 Cernia. Can't see it to Pizzetta. Left side scores on the breakaway. 6 1. Sarnia leads with 3.34 to go. Delandria, Kalella, back door, one timer, and Robert scores. Tip, tap, toe. Time will tick down, and then the Sting go on to win 6-2, final score. Stick with us, this is the OHL on the Firebirds Hockey Network. What do you think, man? So I thought it was a good game. Unfortunately, they didn't get the win, but overall it was a fun experience. Uh, it was cool to see what you do outside the rink that really puts that whole production on. I think giving people an inside look of what a radio broadcaster does is something that I take pride in. I was really excited that I got to show that off. And especially with you being my buddy, I wanna thank you for giving everybody on YouTube an exclusive of what it's like, especially for the OHL and the, and the Flint Firebirds, yeah. giving that, that cool tour and checking out everything. It was really cool. So I, I wanna thank you and I appreciate it, Pam. So. My pleasure, Why don't you head back to my place? Okay. And then uh, I'll see you. I'm just going to wrap up here and I'll see you back here in a little bit. Awesome, man. Right, Thank you, man. See you soon. This Appreciate is fun. it. This is yes. fun. Thank you. EGD. That's right. Best school attending school right there. <laughs> Thanks, dude. Thank you. Break me down. Never come around. You say I left. Wasn't right. We're just making.